Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. This past Tuesday was Valentine's Day, so I want to know how that went for you. Um, let's not talk about me, but let's talk <laughs> about what else happened on Valentine's Day here in El Paso. I guess we'll hear more later. I'm Michaela Zamora. I'm Michelangelo Barajas. And this is Ram TV. This past Tuesday, a semi-truck rolled over along the US 54 south near Trans Mountain in northeast El Paso. The truck overturned in the morning around 6.30 a.m. and first responders had to shut down the highway, which then caused a lot of traffic delays. Fortunately, there wasn't any injuries reported involved in the crash, although there was an oil spill. The teacher low pay problem is once again back in the news. Overworked and underpaid teachers shortages nationwide. Some teachers around the world are vowing to raise educational salaries. With teachers having to quit from the pay, this results to students learning disadvantages in many schools. Last week, we had a very special guest with us here at Motwood. They were able to speak with our fellow Rams about their safety presentation. Well, this presentation in particular is uh, covering fentanyl and THC. Um, we're hoping that the students learn that one THC vaping, especially vaping, is uh, not good for you. Vaping period is not good for you. Whether it's CBD, whether it's nicotine, THC um, leads to DWI, which a lot of people relate DWI is to driving while intoxicated on alcohol. But this can lead to that as well. So we're hoping that the students here and, and other schools as well can get the picture that just be careful who your friends are, and if they're up to no good, they're not your friends, they're not going to be there for you in the end. Don't take the fall for anything, and just have a good time. There's nothing wrong with having a good time, but be careful, mindful of what that good time entails. On Monday, we hosted a Valentine-themed social event for all MHS organizations and clubs. There was fun games, prizes after the night was over. Shout out to DECA, Theater, Rec, Student Council, and many others for joining us. We appreciate your support. That's all the news we have today, Rams. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michelangelo Barajas. I'm Michaela Zamora. And this was Ram TV. Hi, I'm Luis Bernalado, and welcome back to Sports Minute. The Super Bowl 57 winner has finally been crowned, with Chiefs being named the reigning champs. It was an amazing game with back and forth going on the whole game. The Chiefs ultimately won the game with a field goal and a defensive stop, ending the game 38 to 35. The Eagles initially seemed like they had control of the game, but the Chiefs came in with a comeback in the second half without a single drive that didn't add points on the board. Hopefully, he caught Mahomes and Travis Kelsey leading the Chiefs to their third Super Bowl title. Now was the official baseball season arrived around the corner with the first game falling on February 20th. We will be playing Dead Valle at Dead Valle at around 6. Soon after that, there will be an SIZ tournament on February 23rd to the 25th. Hopefully, we start the season off with a bang. Make sure to come out and support us. That's all I have for you today. I'll catch you next time. Are you interested in showcasing your special talent while representing your class? Then stop by room D116 for more information for the Battle of the Classes pep rally happening in March. Hi, I'm Naya, your Vice President of the Black Student Union. Hello, my name is Mercedes Thomas. I am the President of the BSU. And we're here just to talk to you really quickly about Black History Month. It is called 28 Days of Pride. So we're showcasing like our pride in unity, as in Montwood as a family altogether, diversity, inclusion. That's our main thing within this club. So we will be having cover wars next week. We do have a 90s hip hop day. We do have Black Panther Pride, Black Excellence, stuff like that. And then in the Black Box, we are going to have some activities, which we are going to include bracelet making and a watch party. So for the watch party, we will be showing Black Panther, which is going to be Wakanda Forever, the newest one. It's about two or three hours long so be ready to chill bring some blankets some snacks your pajamas and we will be having a good time just letting you know so come on down we do encourage everyone to dress up and do uh, participate in the activities um, Tuesday we will be having color wars every grade level will be wearing a different color we do encourage you guys to wear different colors as well as well as the 90s hip-hop day on Wednesday and then on Thursday we'll be having Black Panther Pride as well as Friday is Black Excellence so do dress your best to impress if you are interested in joining we will be in Mr. Warfield's room in room A347 uh, every Tuesday at 8 a.m. and if you have any other questions there's also Miss Ito's room room A231 Please stop by, ask questions, get to know us. It's an inclusive club, so it's for everybody. 
Hi Rams, I'm Ernie. I'm Abby. And this is T Talk, -talk. the show where we talk about Twitter's trending topics. February has kind of been eventful, mm -hmm. you know. It's Valentine's Day this week. Um, the Super Bowl. Yeah, the Super Bowl. And the Grammys. Lots of things happening. So let's talk about the Super Bowl. So Rihanna's halftime performance. So good. So good. So good. Um, well, to start, she's pregnant. So I was crazy. Shocked. Baby I was number crazy. two with yeah. ASAP. Um, I feel like a lot of people didn't give her enough credit because, like, she's pregnant and she was like floating in the air and Dude, everything. Yeah, like people I were think she, she could have really, done more, but she's yeah, like her she's best. pregnant. She's pregnant. You know? yeah. yeah, and I think she sounded really good. She, she performed her best hits. She like, did. it was it super so entertaining. Yeah. yeah. So her performance actually gained more viewers than the game itself. Oh. which is just like period, period and like Fenty Beauty searches went up was and she was like the most streamed artist on Spotify the day after like all while not releasing an album in seven years like her she still has it her power is insane oh, I right? love Rihanna I love her yeah that's all we have for today Rams I'm Abby and I'm Ernie and this was Tea Talk, Talk.